really since the, the uh, last part of September, so two, almost three weeks now. These are the kind of things that we should expect. Okay, so when the market does eventually break out, you've got to be careful that you don't get caught in a whipsaw. Okay, what that means is you simply don't trade it on an autopilot basis. You watch the market. And if it happens at a time when you can't watch, you simply have to pass the trade by or you have to accept the fact that if you are going to trade, then more than likely you're going to have a stop out over here, um, maybe twice, maybe a stop out over here. You see my point? If you can live with that, then you can continue on with the autopilot trades, but that's a more aggressive type of style. Um, actually, I think I answered part of this question. Uh, I realize a trading strategy can be adjusted to many situations to suit the personality of the trader. That's a bad idea. You don't, you, you never want to do that. And listen, I know, I know it's common for, for guys out there that are selling courses to say, well, you know, just find a system that suits you. Well, Unless you have a real good grip on your personal psychology, your beliefs about the market, and a lot of what goes, what's inside of the kit, that's a very bad idea. Because what if your personality isn't well suited for trading? Okay, you can change some of those aspects, you can change some of those beliefs. But if you don't know what those beliefs even are, how are you going to know? How are you going to prepare yourself? So it's a bad idea to trade to adjust a your trading uh, system for your personality, you need to change how you execute your system, the types of signals that you use based on what the market is doing. So uh, this person asks, can you recommend the limit to which some of the variables can be tuned? Never change the core principles of the system. In other words, you don't want to change the fact that this is a pennant pattern and that this pennant pattern will break in one of two directions. In other words, it's not likely that the market is just going to sort of puke out here and go sideways. It's a liquid market. It's an active market. You don't want to change the fact that when the market does come out of a high volume area like this, it tends to move in a little dipper. But the little dipper, when it comes down, it needs to be fast. So if it, it, you, it, you want to have some guidelines for that. If it takes, say, 20 bars to move up, then you want this to be 15 or less. Okay, all of these principles apply. This information here, this ratio is in the coaching manual, by the way. Okay, so those core principles you want to stay the same. But some of the nuances, like um, if you have a pennant pattern which looks like this, and you see that there are some, some uh, pokes above the top, in a trending market, you say, well, that's a little bit too sloppy, but since the market is in a whipsaw action, you might say, okay, I'm willing to accept that. Okay, so never change the core principles. Uh, maybe change some of the subtle nuances like uh, like what I just described, where the market, you can see, uh, has pushed up on a couple of occasions. These might be good. Uh, this, this pattern might still be good, even though you have the market pushing above like that. Okay, and the next we've got some questions from a crew member um, from Denmark. Uh, first up, can you say anything? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, can you say anything about why you think something in connection to the indictment is about to happen in the markets at this time? Um, and what he's referring to are is the story um, from April 2005. Uh, it's actually on uh, a website, TraderStatus.com. Uh, he's actually a CPA for traders. I, I'm still in talks with him. I, um, I, I think it might be a valuable resource for us, uh, especially on the tax side of things. The, I'll leave the link inside of uh, this Q&A so you can go over there and check it out. But just know that I'm still doing my due diligence on him in particular. Um, the, the answer to the question is, why do you think something in connection to the indictment is about to happen in the markets? Because 